It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast show. We are live, large and in charge on this Friday morning. Now, our, our next guest is somebody that you might know very well. You've seen him in and around Hollywood on movies like Rush Hour 2. He's been doing stand-up comedy, uh, even music, and he continues to do it all. And he's making his espresso debut right here on your Feel Good <laughs> Breakfast show. <laughs> Mr. Omar Egan, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Claire Clo. I'm with you, man. Claire Clo. <laughs> on the express side. Close enough, close yeah. enough, man. Good to have you here. Hey, good to be here, man. I'm enjoying this beautiful day. It's Cape Town in South Africa. Yes, man, it's beautiful. Yes, well, we want to pick your brain. I mean, you've had a long career in different spheres, behind and in front of the camera. What would you say was the one thing or the key factor for you to, you know, make sure your career has been this long? Um, just to stay who you are, which is very difficult for a lot of us as people. We, th we feel like we got to adjust. But because I like people, and that's my personality, and I'm happy, so through the struggles and everything, just keep smiling. Yeah, man. And just keep shining. Yeah. 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 I feel like you guys need to break out and sing. <laughs> we we <laughs> might just. We no might just, yeah. they always love you. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't rehearse that one. We didn't rehearse that one. But also, I mean, and that's a, an amazing disposition to hold, especially... Uh, given the situation you live in, in terms of the country you live in, where you have a president who is very oh, no. Islamophobic, and you are you, you in your belief system, you are you are Muslim. So how do you handle that, and how do you keep going strong? You know what, man? This it makes it even more fun and more challenging because on more the material. other side, <laughs> right? You know, while certain people are want to do it like that, you know, <laughs> then, then there's you know, I mean, he's building, bringing a lot of unity. At the same time, that's so true. The, most of the media only gets one side, but then among there, I have never seen as many white people. Bless their hearts, they're like, we're Muslim too. <laughs> so I was like, yay, we need you guys. We do need you. Now, here in South Africa, we have Mzanzi Wood, you uh -huh. know, our version of Hollywood. And I believe you've got your own version, the Halala Wood. Yes, Halali Wood. Halali Wood. Halali Wood. Halali Wood. Yes, tell us about that. Halali Wood is basically, because of all of the Islamophobia, nobody seems to know who Muslims really truly are. So we created a network where we have our own TV film, our own TV series, films, cartoon, just to show so people can get to know who we really truly are yeah, take yeah, control yeah, yeah, yeah. of our own narrative and try to make it. Oh! <laughs> How are you? Oh! That's it's Pearl Tuesday! It's Pearl Tuesday! It's Pearl Tuesday! Yeah, it was kind of like he was oh, so yeah. in the zone. I was okay. in the zone. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but that, like was was a, that was a pretty scare. It was That's a right I know. It came like, like this. Hey. Wait a minute. But the double like, take was like, oh man, hey. God is great. <laughs> Praise him now. Yes. Um, oh, but okay, so, so you say it, it, it is a great place to be, and there's, there's a lot of unity. And um, one thing I also want to talk about is when we were behind the scenes, you were yes. walking around with your kids. Oh, yeah. You're a very hands on kind of dad. And, um, you know what, man? I'm really, I'm really grateful. These kids, they're nine and six right now. Yeah. These, the, and they've been they are. traveling around the world with me. It's amazing. I know. And they're troopers. They're getting up at 6 a.m. like, they're like, come on, daddy, let's go. <laughs> they might be a little grumpy, but they like, let's go. I don't want to wear that. I'm putting this on. Oh, oh, we we want to show people out there a, a, a clip of your kids doing something rather rather interesting. Take a look at this. Uh, Issa, how you feeling? Yeah? There we go, Issa. He's on your face. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Did he put his butt in your face, Issa? No, look up. He me. Oh, look up. And now he's on me. You all right? Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. No, it's just a little monkey here. Yeah. Shiggy, you into this? No. Huh? Can we put one monkey on you? No. Two monkeys? No. Three monkeys? monkeys? <laughs> <laughs> you guys have fun. You have a lot of fun. Well, monkeys with their butts in your faces you, and stuff. Did the kids, when they, you know, heard they're coming with Dad to South Africa, did they think that monkeys were running around <laughs> like that? <laughs> they, they just don't know what to expect. They're like, Africa, because America, they don't really teach us anything. So I'm really so happy that they can see it for their own eyes. You know, I mean, we'd be like, wow, they have buildings and cars. Oh! And ATMs. <laughs> right. ATMs? What is that? But it feels so great, though, but it was really bad. The clip everybody watched that the first encounter with my son is that the monkey is just in his face. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, wow. 
really got the monkey face. Talk away, talk away. That's a bit of a Lion King moment for him. Well, welcome to Africa. With a monkey in your face. Okay. Listen, we're gonna break out into song and do a whole a lot of fun things with Omar a bit later on. Play some games with him. Find out a bit more about Hollywood as well. So stay tuned. Thanks for being here, man. So good. So good. It's my feel good birthday show. Welcome back to the best Friday of my life. All right, it is your feel good <laughs> breakfast show. There's the camera I'm looking at. Uh, listen, we got our guest Omar Reagan, who is with us in the studio. And of course, this man is such a comedian. He's an actor, he's a stand up comedian, he's a musician. And so we've decided to put him to the test a little bit with a, with a bit of a game that we've, we've kind of made up. But also, uh -oh. we, but also, we just want to welcome your kids I to know, our show. It's, it's Aya and Eve. What's your name? What's your name? Issa. Oh, oh, yeah. Are you guys enjoying Cape Town? Yes. Loving it? Yes. Is your dad cool or what? Yes. <laughs> I told them to say that. Dad points right there. <laughs> well rehearsed family. Dude, so we, we really want to see how, how far we can stretch your talent. So first oh. of all, um, of course, Rush Hour 2, you would have worked with Chris Tucker. Oh. So could you give us your best Chris Tucker? Impersonation. We want to see like how, how you do it. You know what I want to tell everybody? Everybody gotta listen up, man. All right. Hey, in fact, we're gonna do this. <laughs> Me and you, man, K Town, all day long. <laughs> oh, yes. The that best in my memory. I'm on espresso. That is espresso. That's even better than Chris himself. All right. Um, um, I've, uh, I heard you do quite a good uh, Elmo from ABC. So, so give us a good uh, ABC Elmo. Elmo, what's this song? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the kids, they're loving it too. All right, okay. Um, so we heard that, you, that you're in Cape Town and you're shooting um, a role as, as the Black Robin Hood. Yeah, okay. you heard The that. Black Robin Hood. Okay, give us a glimpse into that character. Well, you know what? This is very interesting because I'm in the wilderness, right? And yeah. I'm taking care of all of these kids. Well, my kids are a part of that also. Oh, cool. And all of my Cape Tonians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, now, it's a lot of bad things that happen to me. Like, it's, uh, you would think it looks good as a Black Robin Hood, yeah, okay. but it just don't work out the way it thought, I thought it would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm shooting that with none other than a good friend, uh, South Africa's own Zane Beaker, man. And he, oh, yeah, he, he oh, yeah, me oh, over yeah, and, yeah. You know, it, just, it feels real good to keep connecting with this country. <laughs> I love it here, okay? <laughs> Looks like the Black Robin Hood is quite emotional. I am. <laughs> and, then, and, then, <laughs> and then finally, I've been waiting for this one. I've heard that you do one of the best Michael Jackson impersonations out there. So, no. No, I, I, I heard that, man. So no. you, you, you gotta you know, give us a... You know, I'm like, don't do this. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you are not alone. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna do it anymore. Because that is it. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Okay, wait, we gotta ask Aya and Ethan, give them the microphone. What do you guys think when your dad does all of that? Yes. It's funny. <laughs> what do you think, East? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, really cool dad boys, man. And listen, thank you so so much for being here and fulfilling our oh. show with such fun and love, man. Oh man, thank y'all for having me. Clap, clap! Yeah. I'm getting it right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Espresso, uh, Cape Town, South Africa. <laughs> love y'all, man. And let's keep it going. Omar Regan, ladies and gentlemen. It's a baby. It's a baby. Oh, goodness. Leanne, over to you with the news. <laughs>